Hello everyone. So there is this question, urgent question on the community today from Nitin. And uh, the question is about uh, a report or a two dimensional gadget. Now this question is interesting because uh, this is something that usually people struggle with in Jira. And uh, let me explain the question first. So what Nitin is saying here that uh, there is a filter which is based on let us say one or two labels. So when you when you write your JQ, when you write your JQL using one or two label, it will give you the list of issues and you can of course save that particular JQL as a filter. And then using the filter if you report on it, maybe you want to create a two dimensional filter, then the two dimensional filter will of course uh, look at those uh, issues in the filter. But if you're using the same label field in the two dimensional filter, uh, filter either in the x axis or maybe in the y axis, the list of labels will be not limited to those two labels and that is what the question is what Nathan is trying to do here is uh, basically the report should only display maybe one or two labels that is it in either x or y axis so this is something that i thought i'll probably show you of course you cannot really do it with the native reporting capabilities but first let me explain uh, very quickly if i can uh, maybe create a simple filter for you so what we'll do we'll go to the issues and uh, we'll try to filter the list of all the issues right now i have 495 so what we can do is we can actually use something like labels in and uh, what i can do is i can uh, use something like uh, maybe admin and at the same time i can use maybe pro so let us use only two labels and i will save it and I will use this uh, filter. I'll probably name it as uh, maybe um, pro admin, right? Now this is great. Now if I go to the dashboard, if I go to the dashboard and uh, try to show you something very quickly based on uh, what I can do with these labels. So let me explain. So if I maybe go to the list view and if I look at the list of issues here so this list of issues will of course i'm using the list where i'm saying that i only want uh, labels in admin and pro one but the actual list of issues will have other labels so this particular issue will have of course admin the other is issue can have admin or maybe ui similarly other labels so this particular query will not really limit uh, this particular field in jira for those issues and if you try to create maybe a simple uh, a simple uh, two dimensional filter let me let me try to do it very quickly so i'll go to maybe i have a lot of a uh, lot of dashboards so i'll probably use this one called uh, track progress and what i will do is i will use this uh, yeah i'll probably use this one because why not so i'll go to the edit and I will then select here the name um, of the filter. So this filter is uh, admin pro. I hope I'm able to find it. Maybe pro admin, I guess. Come on, where are you? <laughs> this is a really annoying thing sometimes. Pro. Come on pro admin okay it was a, it was right in front of me okay so let us say you want to now create this report this is of course working let me switch the rows and column and uh, i will probably use issue type here and i will use labels here and save and uh, this is fine so if you look at this particular gadget now this gadget will show you 
the information, but it will also show you other labels like admin, pro, review, UI, admin. So this is something that uh, this won't be able to do. What you need to do is you need to create maybe, I mean, you need, first of all, you need an app like EasyBI and using EasyBI, you can of course do this further filtering uh, because when you are using EasyBI, you can actually bookmark these uh, labels and, and only those labels will be displayed on the report. And I have covered plenty of EasyBI videos where I have shown how to do this or something similar. And that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much.